Monkey. church video y'all know how i feel about up church he speak his mind he a good rapper he diverse time right now it's yz so we're gonna see i've never seen it before that's the whole point of a reaction so we're gonna see pretty sure he gonna run it expect him to speak his mind he's not finna hold nothing back and he gonna run it Tell you where you coming on this one. Once again, like I said, like he ain't gonna hold nothing back. He gonna speak his life. We were saying like red, white, blue, skin, neck, red. Red neck is Geek Squad. That's his squad. That's what he created. You know what I'm saying? He called himself a red neck, but in our world, it's red neck. Oh, they racist, bro. I personally don't. If you don't like me because of my skin color, you're ignorant. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's between you and God. Like. That's between you and God. Simple. I fuck with the music, like, simply, like, you know what I'm saying? He's, I like an artist that gets on the beat and portray their life, paint their life. Bring me to your world. Show me your side of the world that you want me to believe. And you can tell he believe in what he's saying. Like you say, he ain't had no handouts. And somebody told me in the comments, I think he's an independent rapper. So it's like, if he doing all this by himself, he getting 22 million views, like, he putting on for the, the 
you can say the rednecks or the the trailer park people, the white side that the media not going to show you. Why? Because they want us to stay. They want us to look at y'all as, you know, white people as they have it easy. Or they, they highly, he showing me, y'all got struggles too. Like, for we ride four wheelers, you know what I'm saying? We, we got the same struggle. It just, our struggle is broadcasted while y'all uplifting in the college. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, the uppity white people is always on, it's the way. But up here showing me, we not too, we not too far away. You know, like he said, some people keep it gangsta, I keep it country. That's the real country boys. That's the ones who probably could really connect and probably allow us to become one simply because we understand pain. And that's what brings our strength. You know, that's allow us to keep going. That allow us to look at life like, man, I can't knock nobody else down because I was once down, regardless of his skin color. I can't say he don't deserve 22 million views. Why this white boy rapping like that? I can't say that because I don't know what he went through. He rapping it. I'm learning as he goes. So it's like, I can't knock his lifestyle. You can't knock nobody's lifestyle if you don't know what they've been through. And that's just simple. And I think that's the problem with most people. They don't educate themselves or they don't have an open heart or open mind to even learn. You're not even trying to learn. You're just going over somebody telling you. The only powerful is the source. You know what I'm saying? So if th if there's more rappers like him that I need to tap into or learn, let me know in the comments. So far, Up Church is a op you know what I'm saying? He's a good rapper. I seen a, I heard a bunch of singing videos, like country singing. I actually like him. Me personally, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm gonna jam them all, but like a lot of some of them I jam. This one he kind of ran. I don't know what YZ mean. Y'all let me know what that mean. But if he see this or somebody close to him, tell him to keep going, man. He could really take over. I don't know if he gonna take over the rap game because of the the corporate. You know how they gonna be. They not finna. They're not gonna promote that. Simply because they know what they're promoting. They know what they want us to see. Like this, I only came across this because I did Jelly Roll videos. And it was like, you got to see Up Church. So it's like, I didn't want it on the radio. Like, what song is that? These songs are not going to get played on the radio. They don't want these artists like him to really take off for real. But he's taking off in his own world. There's 22 million people who support this man. And he's still, like, in my eyes, underdog because... A lot of people I know don't even know him. Maybe because he's white, but shit. People know Eminem. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's what, you really need that type of rap in the game. Who gonna speak for the people who can't speak? Because they don't have that type of voice, uh, that level of eyes to even touch that many, 22 million people. To, to open them up, to show them, like, I had a hard life too and I made something of it and I'm white. And I, I'm a country boy. I'm a redneck. And I walk around with a confederate flag. And it's like, the stereotype behind that is y'all racist. And you know what I'm saying? But it's like, maybe you're not. You might be a genuine person. You might like your confederate flag like a blood, a black blood like his red flag. Or, uh, you know, a black crip like his blue flag. Or uh, whatever flag you like. That's just your personal flag. You know, you got some Americans who like their American flag. So it's like, what you like about your life? What you like about your journey? Don't let nobody dictate how you come off because what they don't want to hear or what they're not trying to hear. And watching Up Church, it, it gives me a different perspective on white people. Because you can see a white person and think they got a nice job, driving around in a nice car. You, you had it easy. Your parents probably gave you that. But they probably had a harder life than a black kid in the hood. But just in the, across, just in the country. On the trailer park. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit like that touched me. Because it's like, it's one of those stories where well, you never know what a person going to. And you never know what a person might need to hear to uplift their day. You may be watching this video like, man, that's some real shit. And it could make your day better.
you might just one thought. It just could change your whole day. Or you could say he don't know what he's talking about. And he, you know, black people this, but it's not about a race thing. We all human. If you close your eyes and, and listen to me talk, you're not going to know if I'm white or black. You're going to hear a person talking. Yeah, you could have slang, but shit, I know white people with slang. I know black people that talk country. I know. So that's what I'm saying. You go off of what you was taught, but be more mature to understand that. You could unlearn what you was taught and learn something else. And that's why I'm here watching these videos. Because what I was taught was, like I say, rednecks are racist. If you see a Confederate flag, that means they're racist. But shit, who knows? He could be racist. Who knows? But. Or he could be a genuine person representing his side like, like I say, a black person with a red flag. Or your blood, you're going to rep your side to the day you die. Somebody disrespected, you going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same thing in my eye. I'm not going to judge him because of the flag he got. This I'm not going to mistreat a blood or a crib because he a blood or a crib. Like, you, I'm going to respect you as a man. When you respect a person as a man, all that age shit, all that color-coded shit, all that skin color shit goes out the window. Cause a man gonna stand on principle. And that's what you gotta do. And one thing I respect about him as a man, he gonna speak his mind. And he gonna have confidence in speaking his mind. So that's another Up Church video. Y'all let me know in the comments what more songs to react to. Is this his, I see this was, oh, what's some of his new songs I'm, I'm missing out on? Or some of his old bangers. Some of the ones you just, you, I gotta react to. Y'all let me know. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get back with y'all.